Okay, Billy Mayer. Huh, this is my third attempt. First time I get interrupted, second time the card fills up. This time, let's go, okay. Now, Billy Mayer. I figured I'd do a video on Billy Mayer because he's famous and I'm into aliens and he's the most famous guy for getting abducted by aliens for the longest time. He has these videos. Now, I consider him a phony. Uh, however, God bless him. Um, more power to him. Phonies are good because they teach us to be um, um, discretionate and know the difference between a phony and a real thing. Um, lots of reasons he's a phony. One of them is uh, one of the photos he took was a obviously was a uh, the lid of a trash bin. Um, and then the things he says doesn't make any sense. Uh, he said he had a picture of a flying saucer like brushed up against him a tree and then like the flying saucer. So he said that they radiated the tree so they had to go back in time and make the tree so that the tree never existed because uh, the tree was going to die. Um, now, aliens wouldn't accidentally brush up against a tree. The aliens that crashed at Roswell crashed because they were struck by lightning. Um, they don't bump into trees. And if they did, uh, they wouldn't have to go back in time to make it sure it never existed um, and um, and uh, he also one thing that really cemented it the thing that did it for me is he took a photo of a of like a what do you call those praying mantis those those spiders that look like their leaves like on top of a leaf but the feet were fused into the leaf and he said oh yeah on this planet it turns out that praying mantises actually evolve out of leaves and this is like right before its its final stage evolving out of a leaf uh, evolution doesn't work like that um, praying mantises are bugs leaves are plants bugs grow out of smaller bugs plants grow out of smaller plants that's like saying it's like taking a photo of a elephant with its feet stuck to the trunk of a tree and saying, oh yeah, there's the elephant about to evolve out of the tree. <laughs> there's no use of that. What's a praying mantis going to do with its leg stuck to a leaf? How's, it, how's that going to absorb ultraviolet light or whatever they call it to feed the plant? It doesn't make any sense. Legs are for walking around, not for being stuck to a leaf. Um... He also, I kind of got the idea to do this one from Christian CP, who again doesn't leave me there. And she said, I guess when he goes back in time, he, you now you take photos of stuff back in time, and apparently you can only bring um, organic material um, interdimensionally, so you can't bring your, your camera with you. The camera is in this world; it's a three-dimensional object. It belongs on this world. The only thing that's interdimensional is, is us and our bodies. When we go into another dimension, we bring that dimension of our bodies with us. Um, so, and I guess Black Ops, she said, when they go through their little wormholes that are interdimensional, their pants fall down because they can't go with them or something like that. Anyways, um, but the biggest thing about him being a fake is he's got some guy named David or something, Michael something or other, who's always on coast to coast as his liaison and uh, all this guy talks about is all the reasons why you should believe that Billy Mayer is an alien contactee. Like it's so important for Billy Mayer that people believe him but at the same time he goes oh yeah but Billy Mayer he doesn't care he doesn't want all of the uh, the attention he's a private person so if he's so private and doesn't want any attention, why does he have you going out all over the place, busting your ass, trying to convince people that he was abducted by aliens? That's kind of a hypocritical attitude. And, um, and um, also he said that, uh, you know, when he was, since he was a kid being taken up by the aliens, that they told him that he was going to be like the most uh, spiritually advanced person on the planet. Um, and then he was going to learn this and he was going to learn that and the next thing, but he's not a spiritual teacher. He doesn't have anything to teach. All he has to teach is, uh, 
There's, oh yeah, I'm an alien contactee, look at this photo, look at that photo, and that's it. And he doesn't, he's not out there teaching spiritual concepts, and that's what aliens do. That's what they're concerned about. And then at the same time, he knocks all the channelers who are alien contactees, and who clearly are trying to spread the spiritual message from the aliens. Um, so, basically, to learn one thing to learn from him is, if anybody like claims something, you know, they're the truth or the one, whatever, believe me because I'm supernatural, this, that. If they start uh, knocking down other people and saying, don't believe them, only believe me, and then, you know, you can't really, uh, you don't really want to uh, believe them. The uranium, the uranium book's kind of like that. They like to knock everybody else, you know, and only believe us. So, all that kind of stuff is to not be believed. Uh, the Iron Book is really interesting, though. I'll give it that. But uh, that's in a whole other video, though. And uh, so, I guess he's just, you know, he felt bad about having his arm taken off from a car wreck or whatever, and he just wanted to do something with his life, and yeah, he did. I guess the photos of the uh, alien that she took, that woman, they actually found her, and I saw the photo. It's of, a, of a, an Italian woman on a game show from the 60s. So there's another proof right there. And if you look at the face of this woman, you can tell she's not an alien. You, know, you can see the human karma in her. If I were to see a picture of a, uh, an actual Palladian alien, it would be like glowing. You know, she'd be like, hey, you know, and maybe even literally glowing. That's what we're told anyway. So, that's what I think about that. After the next video.